Thank you. Uh, here is the first and most important slide. And uh, it is supposed to represent the two aspects uh, of this presentation. Uh, uh, the first uh, is uh, uh, to understand uh, how local policy is understanding the new Saint Graal uh, of uh, urban development, uh, meaning the sustainability, uh, and what are the consequences uh, of uh, this type of, uh, of local uh, policy measures. Uh, uh, in uh, more exactly, uh, how could it be possible to destroy such a, a building which was built around the same time uh, as uh, uh, that uh, famous equitation uh, uh, was written by that well-known Swiss violinist? Uh, and uh, and how uh, 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 in an area which is very near to an architectural heritage part of Budapest, for those who are more familiar uh, uh, with Barcelona, it's something like to destroy a block uh, on the southern part of the uh, ma uh, Market Santa Catarina. Uh, 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 the position of this area uh, is uh, similar to this. The other dimension is uh, connected to our uh, long-term nostalgia, uh, uh, to uh, the natural sciences, connected to the old Chicago School of Sociology, uh, that everybody should be as scientific as uh, those uh, people in the neighboring room uh, being architects or, uh, or, or in chemi chemis chemists or, or in physical, uh, physical sciences. So uh, uh, I hope that at the end of this presentation, I will be able to uh, keep up with this graffiti maker uh, and come back to the former bathroom of this uh, destroyed uh, uh, house uh, to make a new understanding uh, of this equitation in urban studies. So let's see if it's possible to go forward. No, because some interesting things arrived. And now? Okay. Yes, it's, it, it's here, but it's a little bit slow somehow. So uh, the uh, local housing policy uh, is uh, uh, very eager uh, to understand uh, the environmental uh, uh, leg or pillar uh, of, uh, of sustainability. They absolutely agree that they need uh, 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 more green spaces uh, for the people. They absolutely agree uh, with the notion that they should do something with urban transportation, even uh, to make uh, uh, spaces uh, for, for, for the public uh, on, the, on the main roads, even, as you can see, on the right downside uh, photo uh, to be to uh, reconstruct more uh, with more insulation uh, uh, the buildings so uh, they agree uh, with this type uh, uh, of uh, sustainable development it's stopping again uh, of course, uh, according to the second dimension of sustainability, uh, uh, they are always interested in the question, what you see here, uh, who will finance uh, these nice and interesting uh, uh, thing changes. Uh, so they uh, uh, can agree that uh, with the uh, investors, with the economic uh, part of the society, they have to uh, have uh, some, uh, some connections. But when we arrive slowly uh, to the uh, social dimension, uh, uh, there we have uh, a little bit more uh, conflicts. Uh, 
because uh, they would like uh, uh, to know who will decide and they are not very eager uh, uh, to uh, allow different people than themselves uh, uh, to get near to the decisions, not uh, uh, the people who are not skilled enough, not well dressed enough as you see downstairs, uh, and uh, of course not uh, those uh, uh, intellectuals uh, whom uh, to be uh, with suspicion is a very advisable, uh, uh, advisable uh, thing. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the third dimension, the social sustainability, has certain very important very eminent dangers for the uh, for the power uh, even in a local uh, dimension uh, because uh, uh, it includes uh, the culturally and socially diverse groups uh, uh, of the society and if it is uh, included uh, it means that uh, we have to raise the question uh, whose sustainability we are talking about. Uh, first of all, uh, 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 it is interesting if we are thinking about the poor part uh, of the society. Uh, there you can see uh, my uh, favorite example of Herbert Gans, uh, who, uh, the American urban planner who uh, in a participant observation first saw that uh, slum can be defined uh, that an area without central heating. And later uh, investigating uh, the life's, uh, life in, the, in, in that part of Boston where he was working, uh, he could realize that the slum is better defined uh, where the area, the surrounding is dangerous uh, uh, or harmful for the inhabitants. Uh, uh, at all. And also, uh, uh, if you see the other pictures, uh, uh, there are quite a, a vast uh, amount of literature investigating uh, uh, poor uh, uh, parts of cities, uh, uh, f trying to find out what are the rules uh, of the f this life. In some, it's not so simple uh, to say uh, what uh, is the definition uh, of, a, of a real slum uh, uh, in, the, in more scientific way. Uh, same uh, is the problem uh, uh, with, uh, with participation. Uh, I would come back to Asia's uh, uh, presentation, and uh, I like a little bit better the original uh, 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 def uh, definition, which is, it's true, it's 45 years old, but I think it's better uh, expresses uh, the hierarchy of uh, the different uh, aspects uh, of, uh, of citizens' uh, part participation. So uh, I think, uh, all uh, uh, local policy makers and who are interested in local policy uh, would hate, uh, and they do hate uh, and avoid uh, such uh, uh, approximations uh, 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 to social sustainability and also to participation uh, in decision, decision maker. How they work? Uh, of course, uh, they, uh, first of all, the politicians, but urban planners as well, they have uh, re uh, re leg legitimate uh, goals, uh, goals here. Uh, uh, you can read uh, uh, some excerpts of, uh, of, of Major's uh, program uh, in, in one, uh, one, one area. The most important question for them is uh, what to do with the unsustainable areas, which are architecturally maybe unsustainable, but there are debates among architects uh, whether this is part of urban heritage uh, or something to be destroyed. But socially, for the middle class uh, uh, politicians, they are unsustainable. Uh, that's why
they uh, apply a three stage uh, system. First of all, uh, they declare, uh, with the help of architects and urban planners, the, uh, the poor areas and as slums. Then uh, they invite uh, the investors uh, 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 to build new houses and then use in Hungary, not the federal, but the city bulldozer we have uh, only, uh, and uh, destroy uh, uh, the areas. The result, as it is uh, uh, quite often uh, clearly stated, uh, is uh, that it is a, uh, a very effective way of eviction of poor people from, uh, from the area, sometimes uh, to other parts of the city, uh, and very often uh, uh, to the uh, areas, uh, uh, the poor village areas uh, of, the, of the country. That is the most important uh, uh, part of it. What to do with the, uh, with the places uh, they gained uh, in this uh, uh, period of time? Uh, there was the depression what made uh, the situation interesting in Budapest. The depression uh, came in the middle of this process. So uh, uh, the buildings uh, were empty, but uh, not all of them was destroyed by the, by the bulldozer uh, method. So uh, these ruins uh, were becoming to use uh, uh, as ruin pubs, as it is called. Among uh, these uh, this wrong uh, or empty structures, ingenious investors made uh, bars, pubs, with very small amount of investment, uh, and this attracted uh, the uh, medium status or middle class people uh, uh, to use this uh, this area uh, first. Of course, it was uh, not absolutely simple because there were conflicts between uh, these uh, 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 pubs and the remaining or little bit higher status inhabitants, but it, these conflicts were within the family conflicts, not conflicts between different status people, but uh, the social status of the participants of these conflicts were similar, so it was relatively easy to solve, uh, solve them. And the other, the third uh, stage uh, uh, was to begin to construct new homes for middle class population. Uh, on the right, you can see uh, the method when they built new rows, new uh, stores uh, on the top of the old uh, construction, selling this uh, new uh, flats, apartments uh, to high status people and from this money it was po possible uh, uh, to reconstruct uh, the whole uh, the whole structure or the ad two other uh, 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 photos uh, are showing uh, new uh, constructions uh, in the place of destroyed uh, uh, other uh, other houses uh, of course uh, to uh, to exclude the poor population was not absolutely successful uh, because they were unable to integrate in the village societies so they become or they they are coming back uh, as homeless people uh, to do, to Budapest uh, at, at present. So uh, if we are going back to the bathroom, uh, we can uh, say that uh, the energy invested by local uh, uh, policy into rehabilitation is uh, 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 is parallel to the amount uh, uh, of the of the conflicts uh, uh, they have, and uh, and uh, and the speed of the gentrification. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yes, very interesting presentation. Thank you. Um, I have a question about this cross-subsidizing you were mentioning. Because these old buildings were renovated, were developed by private sector. So the top layers were then open for the, the, the private market. But the, the, the lower, the, 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 the ground level, wasn't that the place where the original uh, inhabitants could remain? Oh, well, the problem is that Nothing. So uh, uh, the problem is that uh, that in Budapest we have about five percent uh, of uh, social housing only, because after 1990, uh, uh, because after 1990, uh, like for example uh, in Tirana, everybody thought that the uh, sign of freedom that we will uh, have uh, the ownership. Uh, of the apartments uh, we live in. That's why uh, uh, mm -hmm. that's why uh, uh, in the lower uh, levels of that housing, three uh, uh, stores uh, were there originally. Uh, there are living uh, uh, lower middle class or relatively, not absolutely, but relatively poor people. So in, in, a, in for, formal senses, it is privately owned, and you, and, and, but they didn't have enough money to reconstruct uh, the roofs and, and everything. Then an investor came, mm -hmm. offered uh, a solution for this situation because the bank credits and uh, these were too expensive and they didn't have enough money to get one. So the investor said that, all right, if, I, if you allow me uh, to build two mm -hmm. uh, uh, new stores, and that will be owned by myself, I can sell it to partly foreign uh, uh, people uh, uh, in Budapest, then we will, have, we will have enough money uh, to reconstruct uh, the whole building, not the apartment. The outside part, uh, uh, the electric and sewing system, and what is more important, the roof will be fixed. And those pushed out, they received compensation, or they received access to new housing, or what happened to them? You said they, they moved to the villages, but did they get compensation? Or? Uh, well, it's the tricky system, uh, uh, because uh, uh, as far as they are, uh, not from this uh, house, but from the poorer uh, uh, apartments, uh, as far as they are poor, uh, uh, they didn't have enough knowledge and social support, support uh, to defend uh, their interests. There is no uh, 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 such social uh, institution and nothing. That's why even if they own uh, such a poor status apartment, uh, uh, they are easily tricked out with very small amount of money uh, offering because when the investor or the local uh, uh, council uh, tries to uh, to, to get an agreement with a family like uh, like this, uh, he, uh, they explain that your apartment is a very wrong, poor apartment. They don't speak about the value uh, of this uh, space when the poor people uh, will be excluded, uh, evicted from this area, and how much it worth uh, when you build a new apartment on the same <coughs> plot. Uh, they get nothing or almost nothing uh, uh, for this uh, wrong quality apartment, uh, which is not enough to buy another one, uh, uh, ever. Uh, and 
never uh, in, the, in the city. Uh, what is enough is uh, to go back to the poor villages, to eastern part of Hungary, uh, which is partly empty uh, today, and to look for the houses uh, of, the, uh, of, of the relatives who are uh, living there. And from this money, with the help uh, of the people who are living there, they reconstruct to a certain degree uh, uh, these uh, apartments, and they try to live there. Uh, but it is uh, impossible for them, partly because it is the depression area of Hungary, so there is no work, and because they are the third or second generation <coughs> urban people. So they don't know what to do with the chickens and, uh, and, and everything. So they are, uh, they, they are in unable to, uh, to live there. That's why they come back. That's interesting with this process. You see in so many different countries, it would be interesting to compare. It would be interesting to compare, because these developments you see in so many different countries. Yeah. Just because you talked about comparison, I understand that that comes from the process of privatization globally. But have you, as a sociologist, um, developed a study which could compare different neighborhoods because I can't believe that there are no neighborhoods where forms of resistance or kind of alliances or whatever change a bit this very, let's say, pessimistic, uh, which yes. of course is, is observed, but are there differences between neighborhoods? I would say, yeah, well, first, yes, the answer is yes, that uh, we try to uh, investigate different neighborhoods where uh, more uh, uh, well, there are certain neighborhoods in Budapest, what we could call uh, uh, urban colonies which were uh, organized by factories for their workers, for example, or by the city uh, around the, the turn of the century, I mean the 18th, 19th, uh, end of the 19th century, beginning the 20th century, anti-poverty areas were constructed. And uh, still at the end uh, of the 20th century, the society these areas was strong enough to try uh, to counteract uh, uh, to such things. But uh, the situation was the uh, same. I think you know, for example, Herbert Gans Urban Villagers uh, book. The uh, process was quite the same. Even when the, uh, the society was uh, a little bit strong, but the processes was, uh, process was very long. Uh, each year, uh, for example, an area was convinced that don't buy uh, coal uh, in summer when it is cheaper uh, because you won't live here during the winter. Uh, you will live in a new housing estate with central heating and everything. And of course, each year uh, uh, the destruction uh, was not in process and, uh, and later they didn't think that, uh, that it's worth to listen to the official <laughs> statements. Of course, uh, when uh, in one summer they changed uh, the roofs, uh, the tiles on the roofs <coughs> of, uh, of this colony I'm speaking about, uh, in September uh, the bulldozer arrived. And uh, without notice they uh, began to destroy uh, this area. So what I would say that, uh, that the local communities in Hungary are not strong uh, as a rule because these socialist societies uh, are accustomed uh, that uh, we are dependent uh, on the central government. You can call it party sometimes, uh, sometimes not. 
uh, but from the central government, and it's useless to try to organize you know, local uh, uh, forces. Uh, yes. One more question, but a couple of brief answers. Sorry. 